Ahoy there! Conditions here today, seafaring. What 70s soundtrack would you play over this sea? Bonjour. Conditions here today. Sully. Oh, I can't say it. My French is terrible. I'm here at the Loire Valley. We're just about to leave. I've left Mrs. Waywell in the van, um, isolating the cheese in the fridge as it stinks. And you look, you can have a an experience on a boat. What is that? Boat camping. Oh. Nice. Quick march. Everything's packed, ish. Ready for the next campsite. Are we ready, Mrs. Waywell? Looks very happy. Let's roll. <laughs> Conditions Ajoui. Yes, we're in Bordeaux. Chateau. View Chateau. And there's your chateau. I must stop emphasizing chateau. With the main theme being wine tasting. So chateau, all the grapes that come from one producer. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the grapes. Who are the chateau? It's Saint Aubin de Brana. Mm. So uh, it, it, it's very close. Okay. All the producer are around oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's still not light, is it? Not light. Bordeaux wine are mm. ah, like this, you know? Yeah. Right. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Like a song, uh, en anglais, like a song, uh, irritating. Irritating. <laughs> really? Oh well, that's that's the definite buyer for me. <laughs> irritating. <laughs> Are you the biggest cooperative in the area? In France. Oh, in France. In France. Yes. Wow. Are we done? Or is there one more? What's that? S you, you've, been, you've been drinking that one, so it must be the good uh, yeah. one. <laughs> is that number two, or is that oh, one, no, no, two? That, that's definitely one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah. I think I prefer that one, actually. Mm. Mm, you like that one, right? I do, I like that one, Chateau Canet. Yeah. I think Gary decided that Irritable is the one for me. Do you deliver? <laughs> In where? To a campsite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cave de Raison. No. Oh, what is it? Cave de Rosin. Oh, Rosin. Well, we've um, spent breakfast time tasting wine. Nine <laughs> wines. Nine wines. So, that concludes the Bordeaux wine tasting. 312 different producers go through that place. So there's plenty to choose from. I've nothing else to say now because I'm quite pissed. So a nice relaxing uh, afternoon on the campsite. Are we uh, happy with that wine, Mrs. Waywell? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Shall I order some more? Well, just a few of those. Right. Just a few. All right, let's get Howl going. Let's order some wine. Travel bags program activated. Excellent. Bonjour, Dennis. Bonjour. I see you have brought Mrs. Waywell with us. I have. Would you like me to delete tonight's video entertainment choices of Emmanuel, yeah. One Night in Paris, and Big Titty Bang Bang? Yes. Okay. Based on the nine bottles that you tasted at 10 o'clock this morning, I have made a short list of the most affordable for your tight ass budget. Mm. Based on your current preferences and consumption, an order has been placed. Is there anything else I can help with? 
No. Excellent. I will power down shortly. Although I'm currently turned on by the adjoining plastic clad static homes on the next pitch. Do you think they have an open door policy? No. And will let me enter the wastewater pipe on the rear port? No. <coughs> um, how? Uh, how many uh, bottles did you order? Based on Mrs. Waywell consumption, I ordered 36 bottles. Oh, Christ. Apologies, Dennis. I thought you said she was an alcoholic. We just... Right, just find the next campsite, please. Just do your scan. Scanning location. Campsite location criteria required. Would you like a campsite near a vineyard? No! Like <laughs> Why have they changed? I have no idea what happened to that farm. <laughs> she was obviously farming. <laughs> <laughs> so we did have a farm booked, uh, getting back to the country, and unfortunately, it was more like a commune for people. No sign of a toilet, no sign of a hose. No habitation, um, and uh, we couldn't get hold of anybody. So we've now gone to a plan B. My phone's packed up. We, we went to McDonald's for the first time in 15 years to have a look at uh, the Wi-Fi, which is free. So thank you, McDonald's. Uh, anyway, we've ended up in um, what I can only describe as Costa... No, oh, Costa del France. Costa del France. At the only available campsite called La Plage. All's well that ends well. Or so they say. So... What time is it? It must be about seven now. Five minutes later, pasta, leftover cheese and various hams mixed through with a bit of tomato sauce with a baguette. From one extreme of panic to another of organisation. Let's hope the match tomorrow will be equally on a par. Conditions here today. No, condition ici aujourd'hui. Ah, yes, indeed. Well, we're in Perpignan. <laughs> this is the train station, and we're just about to go and have a quick wander round Perpignan. What's there to do in Perpignan? Well, we don't know yet. There's an art gallery. The, the art gallery is closed. So we've gone for a coffee. What's it called? No, 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 no. How do you think? What do you think of my French so far? Terrible. <laughs> so the River Tet runs through Perpignan, mm -hmm. which is head. Mm -hmm. So always follow the head if you get lost. Don't let it run away from your head. That's right. The other thing as well is it was it was fought over between the French and Spanish for many many years. And it became French in 1659. And uh, they started knocking the walls down. And I think what the only thing that's left is the Cassie Let. Oh, it's still hungry. Yeah, they yeah, they, no, they took a lot of the walls down. So we'll go to the art gallery and we'll go to the Cassie Let, and then that will be. And do you know what I then like to do? Try a cassoulet. Okay, because you're down to have a Toulouse sausage, aren't you? Toulouse sausage, guaranteed to bring a smile to any lady's face. <laughs> Meat eater. <laughs> Meat eater. <laughs> Dominican monk Vincent Ferrier, the Sanche Blood Brotherhood, was founded in 1416. At that time, the penitents escorted the condemned to death. I'm glad they don't play on a Friday. I want to jump, bump into one of them for a game. I've noticed there's a couple of pictures though with with their eyes. Like they've got a lazy eye. Uh, that's the most important picture in Perpignan. But they're almost like the commandments of mm. very important people to keep the peace. 
with reference to Catalan. The days of smoking. Happy days. Summers. I don't recognise her as an artist. Okay. <laughs> Great collection. Thank you, Tacklebacks Tour. Excellent. So that was the art gallery, or I can't pronounce it. Musée de Musée de Yassac Rougar. Very good. And uh, uh, my latest purchase is a little lampshade for a candle which could be the giveaway on this week's tackle bags but that comes only with a witty comment in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because these are the highlights that everybody wants to know about aren't they what was your highlight there mrs Weaver? i like the wall of little pictures next up where are we going what did you say Egyptian tombs. Oh yeah, history museum. Okay, let's give that a bash. Just the the lids. Amazing, three thousand years old. Fool's gold. Gidding, gidding, ding, ding. Oh hello. Crustaceans. Um, that's a rugby league. Face, isn't it? And what we've travelled to see today. The walls are in town. So Mrs. Waywell's in charge of sustenance. Uh, I'm having a gambas. I, I don't know what it looks like. What are you having? Beef. Boof. Boof. Apparently this is where the locals eat. So I'm definitely going to bring Mrs. Waywell a away with me again because if she's in charge of sustenance today's sustenance at lunchtime was absolutely delightful well done mrs waywell for finding this place how did you find it huh? how did you find this place because i got barged out of the way by an old lady in the restaurant we were going to go to and she took the last table because i was kind enough to let her go in front of us but that meant we had to find somewhere else and it happens to be much nicer well done you is this the way we go in <laughs> It's a real castle. Mm. The Warrington fans in good cheer. Wasn't what I was expecting. The bear goes on the rampage, gets virgins. Yeah. He's looking for a virgin. Right. Kills all the sheep. And takes a virgin to so go looking for a bear and shave it. And shave it and then get an axe made out of black pudding. Mm. I don't think this translates working that well. <laughs> it looks like the uh, suits they used to wear on it's a knockout back in the 70s. Well, you can see they ate well, they were massive. <laughs> it does sound like there's a siege outside, as the Warrington fans gather and make more noise. We'll go further up in the castle. Oh, I'm no good with ice. Oh, Jesus. A different perspective from tackle bags. The siege from Warrington. But over there, could be Mount Bougarash, which is a lovely walk. It's about a two hour walk to the top, but it gives you some really nice views. So that's a good place to go when you're in Pepignon. Go for a wine tasting there. Oh, Alan yeah. Cavier. Alan Cavier. A lovely bloke. And uh, he's give you a bit of a wine tasting. So yeah, I think this really tops off 
Perpignan from a place to visit. There's so much to do. I mean, it is a city after all, and you can't even do it all in a day. And we're not intending to. And I think as far as the cultural experience, there's a lot to do. And then the other cultural experience is down there. It's like being on holiday. Competition time, if you can guess a number of steps, I will send you a tackle bags gift. Uh, put your answers in the comments below and I'll let you know the answer at the end. The couple in the middle there, regretting their reserv reservation decision. Probably should have come on another day. Bon appetit. Logistically, the stadium is a 32 minute walk from the centre and all the hullabaloo in a straight line. So providing you're not too pissed, it should be easy to find. We've arrived. We've arrived early. Let's see what uh, Catalan's all about. Right, what do you want me to say? Hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm nervous now. What, what do you mean, what do you want me to say? Nervous. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I want you to say, uh, how are you enjoying uh, Pepignon so far? If you can string the words together. Just about. Yeah. Pepignon is absolutely excellent. We go where uh, Eric's bar, we go to Castle Bar and we end up in Teal Peppers till about three in the morning. And it's full of ale. And three it's in the morning? Yeah. You I'm, didn't do that last night. I was did still you? out three in the morning. Oh, you know. Christ. Okay. That's, why, that's why I look like this, like a yeah. reanimated corpse. <laughs> oh, no, you, yeah, you're not doing too bad. You have combed your hair to the side. I have there, combed my hair, yes. just about combed my hair, right? Just so um, hair. now you've actually made it here, which is a miracle in itself. Yeah. Um, what do you think the chances of Warrington Kit maintaining that 100% record? I'm fairly confident that we win the game today. All right. Uh, Catalan's 10, Warrington 33. <laughs> that's that's more than fairly, isn't it? If win the game, play. win the game today. These have got no halfbacks. No, I know. I've got no halfback. That, yeah. Tompkins isn't playing. They're gonna have to, the that centre playing in the halves. They've got they've got no halfbacks. I'm very very confident today. Okay. That we'll win the and um, are you looking forward to seeing Josh Maguire if he plays? Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll he'll be in the 13. He'll play loose forward, and I'm worried that he's gonna get sent off. These oh, are, God. These, <laughs> these are aren't they? Oh, they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll rub him up the wrong way and he'll go... I, I might have to cut that because this is going on YouTube <laughs> and clearly, uh, you know, when you're up till 3 o'clock in the morning and drinking at 8 o'clock this morning, that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. We'll let that go. All right, good analysis there <laughs> as the crowd starts to build. I'm thinking I was going to struggle with the, the light wind. <laughs> yes. I speak in French if you want. Firstly, how and why are you Catalan fans when you're, are you English or? Yes, no, we're English. We've taken French nationality. Okay, so is it because you've been living over here, you've now, you know, yes. you're following rugby league as well? Yes. No, well, I'm a Wigan supporter. Oh, a Wigan supporter that's turned. Yes. <laughs> so Warrior became a dragon. Ah, see, it's now the Catalan experience. How would you describe it? And let's firstly say the weather, but yes. beyond that, what would you, how would you describe the experience of rugby league here in uh, Catalans? Very family orientated, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Very familial, everyone's very friendly. Our trip in Washington Board is very, very passionate about their rugby. Yeah, yeah. But the posh ones this side don't they... shout much at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The suits and ties. Oh, so on. you have a posh side and a, a, the and a real group. support. Right. Side. So Catalan riding high in the in the um, league at the moment. Yes. Warrington unbeaten. Can yeah. Catalans beat Warrington and get that unbeaten record knocked off? Not not today, I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> On Quasley do after. Yeah. Oh. We're missing five players. Who are you missing? Uh, May, Pierce, Tompkins. Oh, oh McAloran. I seen that Meek can come in, so he's obviously the uh, one. Mano Mao's missing yeah. as well. So from a Warrington perspective, it's a, it's a right time to play Catalans. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. we've got some young Catalans. Got some young ones that now. Yeah. Yeah. I think what we... to do with them? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Is the young fullbacks very, very, very fast? Yeah. Right. And they might not be ready for him. So. Yes. Okay. But then it's It'll a big game. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> it's the eleven French now out of the seventeen. Yes. Which is very good. Yeah. 
I saw some of the players arrive and I knew the faces but didn't know the names because they were French. Yes. And um, But that's, that's a testament to how many French players have come through the system, I suppose, for yes. Catalans. Yeah. What sort of attendance do you get, an average crowd for Catalans? Uh, last year was seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. We had seven. eight last week. Yeah. Uh, seven, usually. As the summer comes on. More and more people come over. Yes. And more and more dragon support. A lot of the dragon supporters don't like the cold. Right. It's very Catalan. Yeah. They don't come out. Good I did cold. notice this morning a lot of local people wearing coats. Oh, they love their anoraks. Oh, yeah. They absolutely yeah. adore their anoraks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Prediction is for today. Warrington by six. Yeah. Warrington by. One to my couple. Oh, All right, okay. okay. Unfortunately. Well, you've heard it here first. <laughs> Catalan supporters, not worried. that optimistic. I just worried. hope we give a good game. I do that's, too. That's the main I don't thing. like uh, these I don't white want us washes. To no, no, no. I don't, no. Want to, like, a... I don't think you will here. No. And and uh, although it is saying on my app that it's 17 degrees, it does it's feel not, like no, no, no. 22. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay, very Wise. It looks like a what? Spit roast. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. It smells nice. It smells nice. Flame barbecue grilled. So that's good. All sorts of activities on the other side. So we're going to check them out. Play well, got it going, it's good here, haven't they? Yeah. Very nice. Fortuitous that have uh, bumped into somebody, a fellow camper vanner. Hello. And this is uh, Rob from, uh, am I allowed to say? Uh, oh, well, from Warrington. From Warrington, but now we've been using the Willow. Yeah, yes, but there you so, go. Yeah. Um, and um, fortunately, we're both uh, on the same campsite. Amazingly so, somehow. Uh, and I know which camper van you've got, I've not disclosed mine yet. No, you've not, no. <laughs> so, um, you know, we can go and uh, check each other's camper van out. Oh, exciting. But we'll leave it till the day. You've travelled down here in your van. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your expectations of uh, Catalan and how have you been here before as well? I've been here once before in 2007, so a long time ago. Uh, it's taken me a while to come back. Uh, this trip was originally planned for four of us to come. A couple of people have dropped out, so. Uh, were they all going to come in the van? Yeah. Whoa. No, got, with the awning, they were going to stay Oh, in they the were going to stay in the awning. We call it a tarpaulin on oh, tar Tarpaulin. Yeah, because uh, we haven't got the prestige that you have, mm -hmm. you see. So, yeah, um, oh, I expect a Warrington win today, to be yeah. honest. Uh, okay. Castellan's missing a few players. Are you it's looking it. forward to seeing Josh Maguire? I am, and hopefully he doesn't get sent off in the you first You know what, minutes. I've already said somebody <laughs> to that, and that's the first thing he said. I hope he doesn't get sent off. We've seen Michael McAloran walking in, as yes. we were queuing to get in, so yeah. uh, I think he needs to be careful of the wind-up merchant that he is, yeah. and uh, otherwise we should be okay. And what do you think about the Catalan's uh, sort of experience, and you know, everything about it? Um, um, really good today, to be honest. We got the train in um, from the campsite, we've had a few drinks in Perpignan, had a nice meal for dinner. Would it be alright if uh, we join you on that? Of course it would. Oh, okay, yes. excellent. No problem. Problem. Save a few bob on the trip back. <laughs> Indeed, split the costs. Why not? <laughs> alright, well, um, let's yeah. uh, let's see how it gets on and uh, and we'll no doubt talk later then when we're when I'm uh, stealing your Uber. No problem. Uh, Daryl, some say I'm stalking you. It's Dennis again from the podcast. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, what are you thinking today? Uh, tough game, mate. Yeah, tough tough game. game, yeah, yeah. We've obviously. got a few players missing, mate. Yeah, yeah, we've got to play well. We've got to we play well. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. So, um, in true Dennis fashion, um, we've turned up an hour earlier because I was looking at UK time kickoff at 5 o'clock, local time at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. <laughs> so, we're, we're here a good hour earlier. Anyway, the debate now is, is um, Mrs. Waywell's just asked, um, what about the video ref? Well, they've got a full screen, and um, she's asked if Ben Thaler sat in his kitchen doing it, and uh, I, I, don't, I haven't got the answer for Who that. Knows? Who knows? He might be here. Would you like to meet Ben Thaler? Yeah, sure. Uh, what would mother do? What would mother do? <laughs>
taking on the half-time Hooter. It's Catalan 10, Warrington 8. Half-time entertainment at the Catalans. Dancing Girls. First red card, 12 men for 15 minutes. It's 14 all. That's the heartbreaker in the final few minutes. Should be that. What a game. What a game. Warrington wins. 2014. Josh, a few words for the podcast. How did you find the first run out of the season? I can't remember it, mate. I got knocked out, so yeah. Oh, come on. Good, are, you, are you settling in well with yeah, your yeah, family every day? Yeah, yeah, love it, mate. Brilliant. Just good to be out in the park, so yeah. It's amazing. Well done. Well, I think we've just witnessed the game of the season. Wow. Catalans, Dragons, delivers for the match they experience big time. We made it back to the van. A very fruitful day for Warrington and a fruitful day for tackle bags. Mm. Closing comments. I'm not going to follow you to the next one. <laughs> oh, is that because it's St. Helens? Partly. <laughs> on that note, I wish you good night. looking a bit cloudy today <sighs> the drive back to the ferry thing I'm in the pop top because it's quite warm <sighs> and then about five minutes before I just woke up really I suppose I heard this buzzing noise and I realised it's a bloody mosquito had got in. I'm probably half bitten to death, especially when you look at this red nose, like a bloody beacon. Right, breakfast time, and then do the scoring thing. Ugh. Well, it's that time again. Uh, it's time for the scoring of Les Catalan Dragons outside the campsite library. Uh, and there's the transport later to take us back to the ferry, hopefully. Although that would be a long pedal. Scoring, logistics for Catalan Dragons. Les Catalan Dragons. I always, I don't get the pluralisation of Catalans. Right, made a few notes here. When you think about it, we did 769 miles in the van. Mm. Comfortable. That was one way. Ah, so what's that? That's 1,000. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's one and a half thousand miles then. Okay, so it's one and a half thousand miles in the van. Shit, I didn't realize that. Um, ah, so that's 11 and a half dri hours driving there, and 11 and a half, it's about 25 hours driving, and eight and a half hours on a ferry. So it's a long way. However, 
we'd planned to go there and we did a holiday with it as well so that was good yes so the logistics around Perpignan itself um, we had a bit of a mess up because we ended up um, going to some kind of commune didn't we well <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> so we had to change our plans last minute the night before game day which could have been a real mm. pickle because we wouldn't have been able to get the train in this that, and the other but we found something which was good and uh, not a lot of campsites are open at this time of year so that's something to consider we're in the beginning of april at the moment and i think after easter is when it all starts getting better from a camping point of view buses for the fans there and back to the to the ground yeah ticket holder free bus ride which is good yeah it was a 32 minute walk from the center of perpignan so yeah campsites are really good in france aren't they yeah and um you're also guaranteed better weather logistics in around perpignan what sort of score would you give it mrs Wywell? well we did discuss this right well, don't ask me then you've written it down right well, it's four and a half out of five <laughs> yeah that's fine yeah whatever i said fine have you forgotten since we had breakfast yeah, yeah. venue so this is the bit that ticket price facilities access to the game and the game itself couldn't really get near to the players i think because it's on sky sports you've got a limited amount of uh, exposure to the media side of it because sky sports are running the show i suppose bars lots of bars around facilities and things like that the game itself was very good wasn't excellent, it? excellent yes it was probably one of those ones where it felt like a wembley cup final the build-up as well, isn't it? Because everyone's gathering in the city and then walking or getting the bus together, and it's that yeah, that feel of a final again, isn't it? That's yeah. It's a whole day event. Yeah. Now we've got to mark Catalans down somehow, and I mean that in the respect of the ticket price. The ticket price is actually really good. It was like fifteen euros and a bit more uh, tiered up. However, if I'm going to mark this for the ticket price, you've got to encompass the fact that you're going to come here. We had a budget of £700, which was obviously just to get here, ferry cost, fuel, toll, toll. You've got to factor that into your ticket price because obviously you can't get here any other way. You could make it cheaper. You could probably get a cheaper flight, but then you've got your hotel stay over. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So those things are fixed however long like the duration yes. of our stay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's why you, you can't really do it. So for venue... Although it's, it would score very highly overall, I'm going to half that score. I was going to give it 5 out of 5 because I thought everything else was great, but I'm going to give it 2.5 out of 5. You have to factor in the ticket price. Sustenance. Food and drink. Let's start with a negative first. The drink. It's expensive Carlsberg. Yeah, It's not it a pint, it's half a litre, of course. Yep. Yeah. Attention to detail. And, <laughs> um, yeah, you've got the pay a euro reusable cup business which is quite common got no issue with that at all but when you want to swap your cup um learn in french what you're asking for is my advice <laughs> because um it wasn't clear and i ended up paying twice and getting a bit frustrated you did try and argue the toss though didn't you of course i did i ended up grabbing new ones to be clear about what i was asking for <laughs> well yeah yeah it was, it was expensive for Carlsberg, definitely. Mm. Food-wise, uh, the, what they had there was uh, a few barbecue things, their chips, um, ch churros. Pig roast. Pig roast. So the stuff they had there was of quality. There wasn't that much variety. It was pretty much barbecue, but it did feel like barbecue weather, so I do get it in that respect. Now, the other thing as well is that with um, coming to Perpignan is that you've got the choice of actually eating in the city centre because you've got everything there mm. and um, you could have a real good meal and then go to the match because of the timing of the match you know you'd have a good meal in the afternoon and then just go to the match so there's less need to actually eat at the match i would say yeah three and a half we said didn't we three and a half out of five sustenance fan engagement well they've got a big screen there although i don't know if it's permanent and they've got it in the wrong location, haven't they? Yeah, the sun shines on on it, half of it. Yeah. And the sun doesn't change its position much. It sets and it shines on the screen. So you really should have had it in the opposite corner. It was a Sky game, so they had all the replays on there, which would have been useful if you could see them and it wasn't too sunny. 
yeah, there's a lot going on. They, they had a couple of DJs. Um, there was a band, like a covers band. Did you like the music they were playing? Well, I do. I I, I do quite like the songs they were they were covering. It's often questionable when. Um, That's yeah, very yeah. diplomatic, Mrs. Waywell. It's you can't always make out the lyrics, <laughs> but it's it's sweet. Um, yeah. Little sort of well, oh, like yeah. pub games and little, little wooden games, yeah. and I say they're, for, they're not really for, necessarily for children. The children were playing with them, which is good because that gave them something to do. In At one point, there was them. a guy trying to. There was like a little sort of gun thing that you fire something out, and he he missed, and it just shot off, and it, <laughs> ne it, it nearly hit this woman in the head. But she did have sunglasses on, so I'm sure everything was fine. Party atmosphere mm. down that that bottom end there. Halftime entertainment was uh, just a. Few about five, six dancing girls. Yes. Yeah. 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 Not usually very good anywhere, is it? No. No offence to them. <laughs> I, I feel I feel quite awkward watching that sometimes, to be honest. I do, because, I mean, I was filming it with my extra long lens and, um, yeah, I felt a bit awkward. Um, so, fan engagement overall, uh, 3.5 out of 5. <laughs> Atmosphere. Now, I haven't written much down for this because I think the whole day spoke for itself. Mm. The, the atmosphere, going to Perpignan and watching the Catalans Dragons, a great experience because of the build up, like you've just said before, but also the atmosphere in the ground. It was a full house. Yeah. I had a look for the attendances and I couldn't find them, whereas around about 13,000, I think, capacity in that stadium, Looked maybe full. more. Yeah. It because they changed the uh, seating on the temporary stand as well. But it was full and it was bouncing. And the expectation of both teams, because you've got the top two teams playing off there, mm. um, there was a lot of Warrington fans had gone on the trip, so they were, they were, they were playing their part. The, uh, their best attendance was against Warrington in 2009. That was 18,000, and I don't know where that was played. Mm. But I would suggest that there was 13,000 in the in the ground that day. The atmosphere was electric. It was an amazing game. Really nice, passionate French cr crowd. I thought yeah. and it done in a really nice way, and there was loads of banter going on. Fantastic place. I'd definitely give it five out of five. Would you? Agreed. Yeah. Atmosphere. Five out of five. <sighs> Got the tickets. Yeah. Got the passports. Yeah. I'll just um, check Hal out before we leave the uh, the continent. Tackle bags. Tackle bags program activated. Performing travel diagnostic. I am detecting a mild virus in my MOS integrated circuitry. Right, well, perhaps you should have been a bit more careful on that campsite then. Um, uh, you better just um, do your download and uh, get an antivirus on there. Downloading antivirus STD program. It looks like no lasting damage, Dennis. Although my data stream may be discoloured for a few days. Oh dear. Perhaps, um, why don't you now find... i tell you what, Hal, while we're waiting, find um, somewhere cultural in St. Helens. That'll be a bit of a challenge for you, I bet. Scanning St. Helens area. I would recommend visiting the Dream Sculpture. It was built with the aim of reflecting the aspirations of the community. Created by Catalan artist. Jaume Plensa Mmm, sounds pretty good. Um, sounds like you've picked up a bit of culture. Is that something uh, you've got off me? Is that why you picked that particular place? No, Dennis. It just reminded me of you as it has been often mistook for a massive cock. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. 